Preliminary. Looks like a hot shot. Somebody's been unloading a lot of bad stuff on the street. Uncut. She's the third OD we've had in here this week. Keep me informed, will you? you doing? Hey, leave me alone, Lieutenant. I asked you a question. Hey, I'm not kidding. Just back off, huh? What's your name? Durant. Durant. I'm going to overlook it this time. But you cool down or I'm going to put you right through that goddamn windshield. What's going on? That girl back there. I mean, that was my old lady. I was going to marry her. Let's get some coffee. Mm -hmm. And now they turned her into a... Calm down. I've been up in the hills keeping an eye on things off duty. And I know when he comes and when he goes, what windows he sits behind when he's home. Who are you talking about? Joe Bumposa. Hey, you know what's going on around here. Dope's just... Hey, they're into everything. Bumposa's trying to make this state gangland headquarters, and he's doing it. There are three different agencies doing their best trying to nail him. Well, that's not enough, Lieutenant. Not enough. Not this time. I never thought I'd say this, but with this come, you, you've got to take the law into your own hands. You, you don't just book these guys. You kill them. I don't like what I'm hearing from you. No. Back off. 
Let the department handle it, will you? Well, the department? Sure. Well, how, how's the department going to handle this guy with all his money and his connections and lawyers? Not even the feds can bring that son of a bitch down. I'm going to do it myself. What the hell's the matter with you? Just saying that to me, you're running into a conspiracy judge. Well, well the way I look at it, I'm, I'm just sitting here having a cup of coffee talking to myself. So I'm going to give you a piece of advice, and I won't be saying it again. If anything happens to Joe Bomposa, I'm coming straight after you. Durant. Come on. Give me your word, you'll cool down, huh? The nurse tells me he's still alive. Can I see him? There's no point. He hasn't come out of it yet. We got him in intensive care. How bad is he? He may not make it. If he does, he'll be without legs and arms. Report up, Dan. Yeah. 10-4. It's a government car, Lieutenant. Okay, wait right here. All right. What's on your mind? Yeah, that's pretty good, Lieutenant. That's pretty damn good. You know, you don't miss much, do you? Not all that trusting, are you, Lieutenant? Give me a reason, dude. I'm told the kid in there's gonna be a basket case if he makes it at all. We figured uh, you might intend to do something about it, you know? Wow, that's pretty good work. Just be spinning your wheels. Bombosa's been in Tucson all week donating funds for a new wing on the university. Yeah, he's there with his uh, chief counselor, Lieutenant. Whoever wired that patrolman's car is probably an out-of-state guy. Now, he's either home watering his geraniums or he's swimming in a cement bikini. Either way, he's out of the ballpark as far as you're concerned. Anything else? Yeah. We want to show you a movie. Miss Pruitt, what exactly is your relationship to Joseph Bumposa? So you work for him, don't you? No, sir. Do you live with him? Well, I think that's a very personal thing. Don't ask somebody on television. I don't think you have to answer. Do I have to answer that, Senator? Yes, Miss Pruitt. Miss Pruitt, do you live with him? Well, it's not exactly like that. I mean, I have my own bedroom. <coughs> uh, Mr. Bomposer is like a father to me, so to speak. Are you not, in fact, what is known as a bag woman? What's that? Did you not carry money from Mr. Bumposa from Nevada to Miami on two separate occasions, and were you not present at a meeting between Mr. Bumposa and seven well-known leaders of organized crime in New York in 1974? Oh, no. I don't know anything about Joe's business, and I don't want to know. You're required to answer my questions, Miss Pruitt. Don't I have the usual rights? We can hold you in contempt, Miss Pruitt. Hey, now wait a minute. I got no contempt for the U.S. Senate. I even voted for you, Senator. Then I ask you again, Miss Pruitt, why did he pay your rent, uh, your trips, buy your clothes? Because I'm the best late D in town. Well, that's just the kind of broad you'd expect Bombosa to have. What's the FBI have in mind? I talked to your chief. He thinks you ought to take a few days sick leave. 
What for? You want bum poser, don't you, Charlie? Yeah, I want bum poser, and I won't get him by taking sick leaves. Well, there's a way. She can help us all get him, Charlie. We've been looking for her ever since she ducked out after that hearing. Two days ago, we located her. Well, then what's the problem? Pick her up? We can't. She's in Switzerland. The FBI has the manpower. Go in and get her. The word that we got is the other big guys, well, they weren't too entertained by her performance. They figure that she's a dumb broad, but, well, she's gotten to know too much about the way they operate. They think she's a possible danger, and so do we. Bomposa gave her a reprieve by putting her on ice over there in Switzerland. There's an old-time hood with her and two Sicilian goons to watch her. The only way that he can keep her alive. Well, now, let me rephrase the question. What the hell is the problem? Go in and get her. The FBI can't operate legally outside of the United States. It's, uh... Oh, now we come down to it. You need a volunteer. Right. If you get in trouble, you're just a Phoenix cop that nobody knows anything about. This way we can wrap up the whole enchilada, you know, it's, uh... What makes you think that she's going to change her mind about testifying? I will change her mind when we get our hands on her. How did you find her? Head guardian angel. He's an old geezer named Lobo. He's had it. He's willing to hand her over to us for a new identity, fresh start in life. We've got his file. He's going to persuade her that it's in her own best interest if she splits. Suppose she doesn't buy it. You're a resourceful fellow, Charlie. You convince her. The captain has turned off the fasten seatbelt sign. However, for your own protection, if you remain seated, please keep your seatbelt fastened. Le capitaine a donné la permission de détacher votre ceinture. Mais pour la raison de votre sécurité, si vous restez assis, fermez votre ceinture, s'il vous plaît. Let's talk about it. Andy Minton just wanted to be sure you had one of us around, in case of need. There is no need. I'm telling you, I don't want your company. We're only trying to help you, Charlie. I don't need it.
Merci beaucoup. It's just Joe's way of checking up. Ta-da! You like it? Not bad, huh? I'm getting pretty good at this stuff, right? iron for a small village like this one. It's a bad habit. From the old days. All right, what's your story?
Ed, hello. It, it, you know what time, the time it is here? It's Lobo. He was doing a number with the FBI. New passport, ticket, new identity. He didn't even give him a new job. They made him a team, sir. You, you want to know what's so funny about that? He couldn't even drive. <laughs> No options. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to jump every time the other bosses say jump? You're a bunch of nitwits. What's the matter with you? Think of what you're asking me to do. We all appreciate how you feel, Joe. I appreciate? You don't even know what the word appreciate means. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. You especially, you see. You don't know the meaning of the word Nani, don't you remember? Amore. From all of, from all of the world, Portugal even. I mean, the, anything you can think of from. From anything artistic to something beautiful, I brought her, and it, and it, and it cost me a fortune. Well, forgive me, Joe, but uh, we're not talking uh, emotion now. Uh, this here is business. Now, as your attorney, I got a duty to advise you of what I think is right. Uh, everybody's going to respect you more for it. How the hell how can you talk to me about respect when we're trying to talk about getting rid of the woman that I love? Where the hell does respect come into that? I know you love her. Uh, we all know it. But she's not dumb, Joe. Now, uh, well, you know how broads are. Now, I've got a duty to tell you this. She hung around a long time, long enough to learn a few things. And who's to say she wouldn't use it against you if it came right down to it? No, no, she, she ne she, she, she'd never hurt me. She'd never do anything to hurt me, no. But besides, we, we, weren't, we weren't married, and, and there's, there's nothing in writing. Hey, pronto for mangiare. What are you talking about eating at a time like this when I'm talking about maybe killing the woman I love? There's another airplane. I love it. I love it. I spent a fortune on this goddamn palace, and where did they build it? Right in the middle of a, a runway. It is unfortunate. job done right, you don't fool around. You go right to the top. He's Italian. He's an industrialist. An industrialist for this kind of job? Are you kidding? Kidnapping is big business in Italy. You might even call it an art. Creative, you know what I mean? Has he got a name? Ferroni. Vittorio Ferroni. Maybe you heard last year in Milano they snatched this millionaire's kid? No, I'm afraid I don't follow that kind of stuff. 
Well, reliable rumor has it that it was Peroni. It's the first time they used the calling card number. <laughs> calling card? How does that work? Well, they cut off the kid's finger and sent it to his family to prove that they had him. You see? They wrapped it up real nice in a nice little package, parcel post. <laughs> Of course, it took a little time to get there. You know, mail in Italy ain't what it is here. What the hell are you talking about c cut cutting off fingers? Well, that's what they do, Joe. A finger, an earlobe, big toe. I don't give a good god damn what they do. Nobody's cutting up on Jackie, understand that? Sure, Joe, sure. Don't give me a sure, Joe, sure, Joe, crap! The hell's the matter with you? You're all supposed to be my goombaris. You're supposed to be my friends. All you're worrying about is stuff in your faces. Meanwhile, I'm thinking about I'm the guy who's losing the girl that he loves in his life. And you're the sons of bitches who talked me into it to, to, to put her away. Listen to me. You tell for only one thing. Jesus God, you tell him this. You tell him I don't want her cut up. You understand? I want it clean and I want it quick. And I don't want her to feel anything. Nothing! Go ahead, buddy. What are you looking at? You want to eat? Huh? I don't have time to argue. Actually, I'm on holiday. You listen to me. I have people lined up waiting. Some of them are the best people in the world. All I want is uh, a fair deal and, and, and guarantees. Any way you want it done, I'll deliver. No more money talk. One price for everyone and no discount. Agreed. Someone say it would be a few minutes yet. I guess the snow has followed up the schedule. Is Lobo and Strudel meeting us here? Later. Where's John moving me to? I know you're an important man in Mr. Bonpose's outfit, Mr. Costa, so I sure hope you don't mind if I don't call you by your first name. What? What did you say? Nothing at all.
you wouldn't look at me like that. Like what? Like I was a target at the end of your gun barrel. Up in that wig. What do you look like when you take it off? <laughs> I look like I've been in farm. That's what I look like. Do it. You crazy? Take it off or I will. Ta da! Well, this is me in the wrong, so to speak. That's better. It's very good. Now you blend. Sure. I should have known you'd like it. You're used to looking at dead people. Open this door or not? Don't you think you're overdoing it? I mean, you don't have to impress me. I won't tell the boss. Hey, Victoria. He doesn't trust us. Hey, what's that word for people who always think everybody's after when they ain't? I don't know yet. That's the fella. Like a cop. 
drop the bodies. Put them in the trunk of the Peugeot. They'll drop it into a lake. That's the fella. Well, I think I got it. Fasten your seatbelt. Why? I have a cure for it. to get shot up by those people. Who was gonna shoot us up? I was hoping you could tell me that. Well, how the hell should I know? Well, I thought maybe you saw them around. Uh-uh. Joe always made a point to keep me away from that end of the business. What end of the business did he let you in on? You even ask questions like a cop. Ow! Oh! Oh, I think I broke my ankle. Let me see. Oh, it's just a twist. God, now what are you, a doctor, too? Come on. Where the hell are you taking me? Geneva first, and then back to Phoenix. Why don't I get the feeling you're not telling me everything? Miss Pruitt, Lobo turned you in. What do you mean, turn me in? He called the FBI and he traded you for a new identity and a new life. God damn it, then you are a cop! Yes, I'm a cop, and they're coming to kill you. Now, come on. Oh! oh.
I want you to go back to where the car went off the train. Now, I want you back here in half hour. By then, I will have talked with Von Pulse and Phoenix. Something on your mind? Yeah. Big man. <laughs> I want you to go with a dummy. I want you to keep your eye on them. The thought of them. Follow them. See where they go. But don't do anything. You understand? If you blow it, I'll cut your throat. I don't know which takes longer to cook the hot dog on this, uh... Hibachi. I can say it. Hibachi. Hold on, I'll ask him. Joe? What? That creep's trying to hold us up for more money. <laughs> He's just trying to be, be, be friendly, that's all. How much does he want? Would you believe a million dollars? He wants a million dollars, isn't it? <laughs> this guy's no small industrialist. He says he's got the girl spotted 10 minutes away. Now, he can wrap this whole thing up within the next hour if we promise to deposit a million dollars in his Zurich account by tomorrow morning. That's good. That, that, that shows that he's an amateur. He's no businessman. So what we do, let him, let him, let him do the job, and, and then after that, he can, he can whistle for his money. Forget it. He figured we'd do something like that. He's planning on hitting the cop and grabbing the girl for insurance. He's a businessman. He said he'll finish the assignment as soon as he's got the money. Joe, what do you want me to tell him? Okay, you, 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 tell, him, you tell him he's got what he wants, but you tell him this for me. Number one, I'll never forgive him. And number two, he can bet his swear rear sweet rear end that I'll never forget him either. Again. Why would they send a Phoenix cup? Because I'm motivated. What's that mean? 
That means I'm going to put Joe Bomposa away for the rest of his natural life. With the help of your testimony. I don't understand, Gil. That man's ordered you killed. tried to kill me, he would have tried to kill you. Oh, it all makes my head hurt. I can't believe Joe won't be dead. Ooh, I'm so cold. Yeah. Put this around you. Keep you warm until I get a fire built. Thanks for the warning. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't have any of my things. Nothing.
to Joe. Yeah.